show I think is, is perfect uh, personally for me you know it's just like it's dimly lit there's rugs on the floor the sounds great the vibe is like it's like a I don't know an underground jazz club or something mm -hmm. um, and I'm right at home in those kind of places so it's really it's an absolute pleasure to be here this morning I was thinking oh my gosh <laughs> it's my first TV thing ah! and then we got here as soon as I saw the room I was like it's fine it's fine. So yeah, it's gonna be great. Really great vibe here. I think France is the it's the most loyal, <laughs> the oh, most yeah. loyal following. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, France is the best. So you like the public? Love, love. I think is the word. Honestly, yeah. The gigs have been great. I've played all over France, and every single one has been incredible. I came to get signed. Uh, to Ninja Tune, sort of via working with Bonobo, with Fink, with Mr. Scruff, and they're all signed to Ninja Tune and have been with the label for a long time. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess they kind of opened the door for me in a way, um, and it's kind of why then Ninja heard my voice and my music really. But yeah, they're a fantastic label, so incredibly supportive, um, and I think it's pretty rare to find a label nowadays that are just in it for the right reasons. You know, they really want you to develop and they want to be want you to be your best self, you know, not a, oh, let's package her to appeal to these people. It's like, right, let her do her thing. And if she wants to work with whoever, let her do it and let her experiment. So they're great and I get complete freedom, which you can't ask for more. But I think the amazing thing about soul music is that, you know, it really unites people. And when it's soul music, you can absolutely feel it, definitely. I think the one tragedy about the UK is sometimes they're really bad at supporting mm -hmm. underground soul music, you know. I know loads of amazing singers that should be absolutely massive. You know, one that I mentioned before, Martina Topley Bird, I think she's she's incredible. She's absolutely incredible. Um, but never really got kind of mainstream recognition. She was always quite left field and slightly underground. Um, so I think things like that are a shame, but that's just down to commercial music and what people's ears are used to, you know? But um, yeah, there's definitely lots and lots of talent in the UK. And I think, you know, when people are into that sort of music, they actively go and look for it. So even though they haven't heard of so-and-so, that maybe they'll like Martina Topley Bird and then to kind of check out some other things that are similar and then it kind of opens the doors for more underground music. But yeah, the internet is an incredible tool, I think, you're for music. You're not afraid of the internet? I'm not afraid of the internet. Me and the internet are friends. Okay. Yeah. That would be probably Year and Issues by mm -hmm. Crystal Warren. Mm -hmm. Sandpaper Kisses by Martina Topley Bird. Down the Burning Ropes by James McMorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I Love You More Than You'll Ever Know by Donny Hathaway. I would say Simply Beautiful by Al Green. Staring at an empty page. No. On to pose. No. No? No. Always the truth. 100%. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we say, uh, as we say in France, we say merde for tonight. Merde, does that mean? Shit. It means it mean good luck. Ah, good luck, sorry. You know what we say in the UK? What? Break a leg. And I think I actually would in these shoes. Be careful with that. Look, it's like a, it's a weapon. It's, it's a weapon. Use as a, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't use it as a weapon, but that, they could possibly be a weapon. They're good shoes, aren't they? If you have some trouble tonight, you can maybe kill someone. I could. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, great. Kill someone or break a leg. Or, or break a leg. Yeah, or kill myself. Staring. Pain. Again. Sun.